Do you struggle with your Mac computer being slow lately? Hey, I'm Dom from Wondershare AnySmall and in this video I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks on speeding up your Mac device. Let's get started. The three main reasons why Mac computers slow down over time are the following. Hard drive RAM maxed out. Too many applications running in the background. Too many applications open automatically when PC boots up. These problems are very much likely to appear when you use your device on a daily basis, but you don't take proper care of it. Fortunately, there are multiple ways to speed up and clean up your Mac device, so let's dive right into it. Number five, close unused applications. Only by clicking on the X icon in the corner of the window won't close the application entirely, only if you quit it. To see which applications are still running in the background and to close them, open the activity monitor of your Mac device. You can also see which applications are using the most computing power and memory. Number four. Another way is choosing which apps should start up when you turn on your Mac PC. Usually many unnecessary ones also boot up which will slow down your computer. The easiest way to see which applications start up alongside your computer, go to the settings, search for startup, and here on the left side, under the login items, select which application you'd like to enable or disable. Number three, we often forget things we download from the internet. So your download folder might have a lot of items that are taking up space and not even needed anymore. Going through them and deleting the ones you don't need is also a useful step in cleaning up your Mac. Number two, third-party cleaner tools. Use a third-party cleaner software. It will go through your computer, find all the cache files, log files, duplicate files that your computer doesn't need anymore, and it will delete them. It's a great way to free up some space. Number one, compressing media files to free up space. If you store many media files, it can take up lots of storage space. But if you compress them to half the size, you can free up a lot of space without having to delete them or buying external hard drives, which could be really expensive. Now here today, I'm going to introduce you a new member of the Wondershare family, AnySmall. This is a professional HD multimedia compressor. It provides the most comprehensive video and audio compressive solutions. It's capable of one-click batch operation, supports over a thousand formats and a high-definition lossless compression, and it easily satisfies your various compressing demands. Let's see how it works. Open up any small. Add files by clicking on Add Files or drag and drop them from your media browser. On the right side of the interface, under the basic settings, choose an output quality and a compression percentage. Under the advanced settings, you can set other attributes such as encoder, resolution, frame rate, and so on. And then a bit down below, set an output format with an output folder. And finally, export your files. You'll find your compressed files in your chosen output destination. And that's it. If you found these tips helpful on cleaning up your Mac, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Make sure to try AnySmall, your powerful compressor without losing quality. Thank you for watching again and I'm gonna see you in the next video.